Mormon, I'm Rachel and I'm here to do some very gentle beginner adult ballet. I've had lots of requests for it over the years and it's something which I'm more than happy to do. Um, I'm a Royal Academy of Dance teacher and I'm going to do some very good with you today. So please remember to um, check if you have any joint problems with the doctor before you do anything, but please just enjoy this very gentle beginner's ballet class. I'm just going to warm you up. So to begin with, make sure that especially if you're doing this at home, you're in an uncluttered environment and we're just going to make those shoulders shrug right up and drop down. Shrug right up to your ears and drop down. And right up and drop down. And right up and drop down. Good. Standing lovely and tall, I want you to roll those shoulders back. Good. Right up to those ears. Lovely. And then you're going to reverse. All the way up, all the way up, good, nice, we're just going to march on the spot, lovely, just keep that going, super, we're just going to check your balance in a minute, lovely, keep going, keep going, and you can make those knees, the arms go nice straight, but just do what feels comfortable for you, if you don't feel nice, that, that's absolutely fine. Excellent. Okay, we're going to circle this arm and circle this arm. Lovely. Get a nice wish feeling. Good. Just enjoy. Circle and circle and circle and circle. We're going to do it again. Circle and circle. Cross my arm to the front and wish out. Good. Stand nice and tall. Lovely and tall. Good. Now, if you're comfortable with going forward, um, without holding on to anything, please do so. I'm in the studio, so I've got a bar, so you can just put your hand on the chair. Um, but just a little stretch forward and a little sweep down and soften your knees. So bend, soften, and stretch up. If that feels wobbly to you, hold on to a chair while you do it, or just leave this one. Bend, bend, and stretch. Good. And relax those arms. Now we're going to check that um, our ankles and our balance are working well. Again, I always hold on to the chair, just lightly. Um, and if not, absolutely just stand with your feet parallel, hip width apart. And we're just going to bend the knees and rise up and down. And bend the knees and rise up and down. Lovely. This is really just warming up the joints that you should be doing before you do your ballet class. Good. Super. So while you're doing that, think about shoulders back, long necks, and a long torso, nice and long lean muscles in ballet, so that we kind of zipped up the front of our bodies and zipped down our spines. We've got lovely long backs, we're not arching, and we have a nice chin to chest. Lovely. Okay, we're going to check your feet now, because as you know in ballet, we will be stretching and flexing our toes a lot. So you can hold on to something here if you want. If not, just point forward for me and flex. Now I'm actually rotating from the hip there, because ballet dancers tend to rotate from the hip. So you can either go parallel here, just if that feels difficult today, and just point and flex. So maybe try four with your feet parallel first. Good, really get those joints working. Excellent. Each leg, nice tall bodies while you're doing it. Keep your hands on your hips there or hand on the chair if you need it for balance. Lovely. Now, if we go into first position, we'll do that one again. And this time in ballet, that's a natural first position I've done. I'm not forcing my feet out. And I'm gently knees over toes, having a turned out feel. So my knees are now looking slightly sideways, but it is just gentle. If you're a beginner at ballet, especially as an adult, what you don't want to do is try and get the turn out um, that ballerinas have worked at for years, which is a, is a, a really high level of rotation. So we're just going to gently Knees slightly sideways. Good. Nice. Lovely. 
Excellent. Well done. I hope you feel nice and warm now. I'm going to teach you three exercises at the bar, and then we're going to finish with a lovely quote of bra for learning the positions of the arms and belly, and then we're going to finish with a little cool down. Good. So come to the bar. If you're in the house, you're probably going to have a dining room chair or something with quite a nice tall back, and we're going to learn a plie. So we're going to go back to your natural first position. Very important to keep all that posture we talked about earlier on. So imagine the pelvic floor was like you had a tight pair of jeans on and you'd sit all the way up here. You've got a lovely tall back. The other thing I want you to imagine is that you put two little hips on your bottom, which just squeeze your bottom together, slightly back here, um, which gives you that lovely, um, engaged muscle feeling that dancers have when they're standing still ready at the bum. So I'm going to go over this exercise for you. A plie in ballet is to bend your knees and ballet dancers always start with it at the bar. So we're going to do a preparation which is just to sweep the arms up in a circle here, out to the side, one arm lightly on the bar, and then you can just bring this one down today. And we're going to do two lovely plies. And all I'm doing here is my knees are going over my toes. So I'm never having my toes behind my knees, which is extremely dangerous in ballet, knees over toes. And I'm just going to rise gently up and do an arm up to the top if I can do it, which is a ballet fifth, and all the way down. Keeping my arm in this position here, which is a gentle curve, I'm going to do two more. And then a little rise, just up and down, so look, a, a quicker rise than the first one. And then I'm going to degage, which in French is to point your toes sideways, keeping my hips forward, and bring it into a second position here in Baba. Bring that arm down. Then two little demi plies again, so two little half bends. Good, you're going to rise all the way up, keep those pegs on the bottom we spoke about earlier on. Take your arm to fifth if you can manage and all the way down, and then we're going to do two more demi plies, keeping the arm in second. Good. Point that toe, bring it back to first position, and then if you can manage, rise up as far as you can go, obviously not beyond the demi point, which is your half point, and some of you will find your feet are much more flexible than others. It's just the way, the luck of the draw for ballet dancers. Good, but keeping your feet flexible um, as we get older is a wonderful thing for us. It helps all of our flexibility and our movement in everything we do in life. Okay, I'm going to put some lovely music on with that and you just follow that with me on, with your hand on your chair and I'll do it at the bar. Off we go. Clean and wise and lovely and tall. maybe a quarter of an inch off the floor. So I'm going to demonstrate this one to you nice and slowly. Feet back in first position, arms front, which is first position in ballet, and second. We're going to do, stay in first position at the moment, a tondu forward. So it's imagine that as you push out, my heel is leading the way here, so that I'm just gently rotating and close. Same in second and close. When I go to the back, 
My little toe leads the way. And close. Side and close. Good. So we do forward, side, back, side. Then we're going to do our little booty stays, which are much sharper movements just off the floor. One, two, and the third one to the finish on a little demi plie. If your knees are sore doing the demi plie, just keep them still. You can just finish with stretch legs. One, two, but ideally a demi plie to encourage those nice soft knees. And then it's going to go completely again. Forward, close, side, close, back, close, side, close. One, two, just tiny off the floor. Like the height of a little more teaser. Good. And then we're just going to rise up and down. Pegs on the bottom, down. Pegs on the bottom. Stay up on the second one. Keep that lovely posture, all that zipped up body. All the way around the little kuru on this side, and we're going to finish there. And we repeat the whole thing on both sides of the bar because in valley it's very important to work both sides of the body. All right, let's go, let's do it for music. Well done, just enjoy it. Good, looking great. So again, one hand lightly on the bar. I'm going to do our introduction again. Lift the arm opposite your tummy button to first and then to second. Well done. And we're just drawing half circles on the floor. So we're going forward, side, back. And it's the same principles. Both legs are pulled up, strong legs and knees. No bends here at all. Forward, side. So we're going to do three of them. Forward, side, then, then a beautiful portobra, using your head to look at your eyes, all the way down. And then we're going to reverse it. Three, go back first. Good. Notice in ballet, everything's very carefully placed. Hips and shoulders stay facing the way that they're going. And the legs kind of work independently. Think of a little swan above the water, keeping everything lovely and still up above and lots of work going on below. Good, after you've done three, you're going to do a beautiful rise up again, the little cool, cool that you did earlier on, and a lovely push down again, looking at those fingers, and then off it would go this side. Good. So it's three rond de jam away from you, um, which are called rond de jam with a lovely push on movement 
of the arm in between, and then you're reversing it and doing three grand on the don. And right then, kuru, which is that little da -da 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 that you see ballerinas do on the point, to the other side, and lovely water bra before you go on the second side. Good. Well done. Very tempting in ballet to let the elbows droop. Try and keep the elbows lifted. Imagine if a raindrop was coming down my arm. It would keep going and drip off my fingers rather than this. Lovely. Let's go with the music and do your own dishes. Well done. Long dishes. We have a curve, which is a little bit what I spoke to you about at the bar. So always your arms have kind of elbows lifted and a gentle curve in ballet. To get the lovely ballet dance of fingers, what you do is you shake them. Give them a good shake, just try and relax them. Difficult, because sometimes when we're learning something, we look very stiff, our shoulders go stiff, our fingers go stiff, our arms go stiff. And sometimes go behind us, and we don't have ballet arms behind us, we always have them in front. So, what I want you to do is have them lovely and shaken to relax them, and then watch how those fingers fall into a lovely soft shape. So actually, your middle finger and your thumb should be kind of looking at each other here. Very, very gentle. Good. So, keeping all that in mind, that lovely posture we talked about earlier on, sip, 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 sip. Sit down your back and pegs on your bottom. We keep in first position. The arms down here are bra bar. Gentle curves as if you're holding a huge giant egg with a little bit of weight down here as if something's weighting them down. Lovely soft fingers. We're going to go up to first position and then keep on taking them up to fifth. Then we're going to open this finger and turn out the wrist and we'll take the other wrist. And if you can follow it with your eyes, it looks absolutely beautiful. And then we're going to float them all the way back into bra bar. So what you did there is you did first, then you did a ballet fifth, you rotated one wrist and the other wrist to make what we call open fifth, which is like a knee, and then we floated it all the way down. Remember when you're holding these positions here, don't use your shoulders to lift your arms. Your arms should be lifted. So if you want to just lift my arms, they move from right down deep in my spine, and not my shoulders at all. Then we're going to add a little bit more on when we're back here. We're going to do first, open to second, keeping those elbows lifted again, and keep them in front of your body. 
not behind your body. And we're going to let the right hand come in and make third position and back. We're going to sweep with a gentle curve. This arm comes in and that's third position. And then we're going to go all the way down, very gently, float those arms back down to Brahma. So the last bit went up, open to second. The right arm makes third in a nice curve and goes back. The left arm, and you can just look over that lovely curved arm. And then a little lift, let the fingers and wrists rotate just very softly. Good, excellent. Let's do that one with the music now, and then we'll come down. And that's your class today. Well done. Let's do this one with the music. Positions of the arms. Tall bodies. Thank you for joining me. Bye.